Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Davis Finney Foundation. My name is Melanie Dizon. I'm the Director of Education at the Davis Finney Foundation and I am here today with Nanad. How are you doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. Better than you can imagine. Good, better than I can imagine. Well, I am so excited to uh, talk to you today about your work and what you're up to and share with our community all the really cool things that you're doing. But I'm pretty sure you're going to start us off with something. So I'm going to let you go to it. Yes, yeah, something to break the ice. If I had another life, I would never walk straight. All the things I love to do, other people love to hate. With my shoes on my ears, with my head on my feet, park the car in the kitchen, take a bath in the street. President, keep the pigeons in the park, never paid the rent. Jerry Garcia, Secretary of State, declares money illegal. Wouldn't that be great? I love ping pong, I love bounce, anchovy pizza, and those crazy drugs. I like the lava. Target, win the biggest score. Tell my dad I love him. I never did before. I love ping pong. I love bounce. I love the honeymooners and those crazy drugs. I like the lovers who don't know the same. I'm talking to my father in the stars and the rain. Another life. If I had another life. There you go. Yes, that was great. I'm gonna so, be singing that in my sleep tonight. Yeah. So there is a reason why I play this song. I, five years ago, I could not play this song because syncopation. This is syncopation. I could not. My my fingers were stumble between strings like. Mm -hmm. I just could not mm. play, so I stopped performing publicly. Then I started to play table tennis, and after three months of playing table tennis, I could play the syncopation again. So I reversed symptoms with wow. table tennis. That's why is the song is indicative. Yeah. Well, let's let's kind of start there. What in the world made you start playing ping pong? Uh, so a friend of mine invited me to Bob invited me to to play t uh, t table tennis at Worcester Table Tennis Center. And uh, I played as a kid a few times, not, nothing much. And uh, I, I, li I like it. I, I love the, the game. It's always not, not never is the same ball. It's always different angle, different spin, different. Everything is different. So the next day I felt much better. So I went next week again next day I felt better again so I said let's let's increase to two times a week so to cut it short in three four months I could play syncopation again so I felt much better and so since I discovered it for myself I said why not help other people you know so that's how the ping pong Parkinson started wow. it was 
five years ago. That is great. Can you tell us, I'd love to know a little bit about your pre Parkinson's and what you were doing and, and then how you were diagnosed, how you found out what the, the, you know, the symptoms were that kind of thing. And then, you know, what you're, what you're excited about now. So, uh, where, where was I before Parkinson? I, I was making music records and uh, I'm peace activist also. Uh, I believe in world peace that is achievable. I even publish uh, an article in a UN magazine, UN Chronicle called World Peace in One Hour. So I have family, three kids, you know, living in New York is, is tough in, in itself. How to survive in this, you know, co conglomerate of people, buildings, businesses, ambitious lives, you know, nature and all of this that's 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 life in itself so um but i i, I had the happy life and i still do actually so nothing changed i just slowed down and uh, you know i didn't i didn't conquer parkinson but i conquered the fear of parkinson so it's just uh, everybody has something i said better something than nothing you know that's right yeah. So did you discover Parkinson's symptoms? Were your first symptoms related to playing music? Or when did you first notice something? No, I, I had a slight tremor in my head. And so slight that, that nobody could see it. So I went to doctor and they said that I'm a little bit sensitive as an artist. So it's probably nothing. But I knew it was not nothing. I knew it was something. So when they told me eventually that I, I was I'm part of the clinical trial for Michael J. Fox for 11 years now, and when they told when they measured the number of cells, uh, neurons that produce dopamine, they, they saw drastic reduce. So a number of them died already. So for me, it was almost a relief because then I knew what it was. So uh, in, in some way, I don't know why, but I thought I can cope with it. I can live with it. So, and how long did did you have it before you know you gave up guitar and you're like i can't i can't play that five years mm -hmm. in 2010 i was diagnosed in 2015 i stopped playing mm -hmm. yeah and then how soon until you started playing ping pong three four that. months five months okay and then after that you went right back to playing again correct and have you had any times where you've had to stop since then no and you are a regular weekly, always get on the ping pong. I do. Yeah. Yeah. And I, uh, what I, sort of community have you created there? Were there a lot of people in your area that had Parkinson's that already knew about ping pong, or just one friend? Or well, the thing is that uh, when I when when I wanted to start, they told me that I should have people around already, and I said no. We we just start, and then they, they will show up eventually. So so it was only me in the beginning. So, but we now we have 20 to 30 people coming every week in one session. So, wow. So How many ping pong tables do you have? We have six tables plus uh, uh, additional ones, as, as many as we need it, because we have 30 tables at the, at the center. Oh. Three, 30 tables, yeah. So, we have separate room, but if we need more, we always move to another room. And, uh, oh. Worldwide, we have uh, over over 100, maybe 130, 40 uh, uh, chapters already. Uh, so it's 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 spreading like a wildfire. Yeah, it is. So um, what was your first? So you are in? Are you in Pleasantville or are you in? Down, I, I, where are you? I'm in Worcester County. That, that's Worcester. Okay. And yeah. what was the first chapter? Who was the first chapter? Where was it? Pleasantville. No, after that one. Sorry. Uh, after that one was in uh, New Jersey. Okay. Riverage. And how did how did those people? I because I just know people are going to listen to this and they're going to say, "Well, I want to start a chapter in my community." So, how did those people start start a chapter? What did they do? Well, we, we give them instructions. What we do actually, we we have an hour and a half long program. We introduce everybody is introduced in the beginning. We have we say we, what is the number of the session. We have some news like uh, reporting. There is Art Dubois, Dr. Art Dubois, retired psychiatrist who, who led the sessions, 210 sessions so far. Wow. In, in Pleasantville. 
and then uh, we have some news about uh, uh, Parkinson or if there is something something new on, on the market and uh, then we have uh, loudly we have to pronounce our name because we lose voice you know losing the voice is, is critical so we have to say loud our name and then we have a uh, demonstration like a spin or top spin or cut or some demonstration for for people to see how to play and then we have a trainer and uh, we have volunteers with all this we are pongers and they're volunteers and they're they, called pongers pongers i want to do that that yeah. sounds great yeah and then uh, volunteers are on one side and pongers are on the other side and then we switch and uh, change uh, our volunteers um, and then we have uh, we juggle after that so uh, like literally juggle juggle yeah three three objects oh nice let me see if i have it somewhere here i'll, I'll find it maybe later i'll show okay. you how to juggle yeah that's great I couldn't juggle at all uh, but now i can i made a record uh, like uh, the other day 260 times oh my gosh yeah. and before before this you were not a juggler you'd never juggled before parkinson's never juggle couldn't couldn't juggle like uh, once three balls once that is very great. Wow, what good cognitive uh, ability to, to be able to do that and practice that. That's great. Also, we, we probably either we rewire old neurons or we create new ones. We don't know yet. Right. But that's to be discovered. You know? Yeah. And so then so, jump... so the chapters are, um, they get support from you. It's sort of like the main chapter, but that they are all sort of individually running their own programs and that kind of thing. Yes. Yes, I, I, I don't I don't want to impose anything what we do, but everybody should discover on their own things. We we, we suggest things that they should do, but yeah. people have different preferences, different styles, different things, and maybe we can learn something from them. You know, so right. You know, Germany just pronounced hundred and fifth chapter. Wow. Germany is so it's worldwide. Worldwide, yes, we have twenty two countries now. Oh my gosh. And then you, when you get together to play, are you usually playing round robins? Are you playing tournaments? What, how are you guys doing it, John? Like on a regular weekly basis? We have, we have, uh, we have uh, two things. We have uh, regular tournaments, which one we had in, in Aesterp, Germany, this weekend. Then uh, I will, uh, there will be German Open on 26th of May. Then there will be in Denmark. Then I will go to Croatia. Then in the Portugal is uh, end of June, and then uh, beginning of July is uh, USATT. That that's that's something. Per first time in history, we we have been accepted by by regular championship of table tennis in, in the United States. Wow! So I don't, to give you the perspective of value of this event is that we have we are not accepted in any para games in any sport. People with Parkinson are not accepted in Paralympics, para games, anything, because there is no classification that they accepted. Mm. That has to be changed, definitely, because there are 10 million people sitting on the couches waiting to die. And this way they compete, they socialize, they, they, they move about, you know. You should see these happy faces when they play table tennis. It's, it's like it's kind of hard to not be smiling when you're, or be happy when you're playing table tennis, right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah. You see somebody playing mandolin, you, you can't, you cannot do, not to smile, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, that is so great. That is so great. So, um, when you, the, per, the participation in the July one is actually, do you have to qualify to be able to go or is it an open entry or how does it work? We have seven categories. I call this magnific magnificent seven. Okay. <laughs> Yes, it's one open for anybody who wants to play. Then we have uh, uh, men and women separately, and then we have uh, uh, doubles, mm -hmm. doubles, and so uh, and then uh, above fifty-five years old and below fifty-five years. Okay. So seven categories. Are there and, are there ratings in ping pong? Yes, there are ratings, yes. and if if you if you if you compete in any other regular championship, you you have rating. And if you don't, you will start to have ratings this time. Right. So there, there is no classification. There is right. no. You, if you want to play, you, you come to Texas. It's in Fort Fort Worth, next to Dallas. Uh huh. July sixth and seventh. And you can get rated. 
Yes. You can get rated. Yes. Okay. So what um, is rate? If there is table tennis rating similar to tennis, or is it totally different? I think it's totally different. Yeah. Okay. But what What are the What are some of the What's the rating? Is it like number or number? Yeah. Okay. You have to you you have to play against somebody who is bigger or smaller numbers, and then right. that's the way how they or they they see how you play. They they, they give you approximate value. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I need I remember because I was overrated because I by accident I I, I was got a second play, place in one tournament because by accident by by, by luck pretty much <laughs> because uh, somebody excluded themselves because they, they played the best players played in the beginning oh so, so here here I go hey that's that's legit you did not accident you you still got it <laughs> yeah, but many a long time I had to lose to get to my to my real ratings so yeah. but anyway it's a it's an experience uh, uh, competing is I, I love to compete mm -hmm. do you I'm, like doubles or singles better I love both okay well, I think doubles are fun because it's it's more people. It's it's, it's I love actually if if now if you, if I have to choose I would choose doubles. We won world championship by the way. I got in Berlin a gold medal with George Chen from England. Wow! Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. That's yeah. great. So, what would you say to people who their interest has peaked? but they're nervous they don't know where to go they don't know what to do they don't know what equipment or do they just show up somewhere how do they find out about ping pong in their area what do you recommend they do they go to our page pingpongparkinson.org okay i'll share that link for sure and they, they can call us email us and, and we have people to help them uh, so and if they need help with the table we have sometimes tables that, that people give away we can ship them but then it's it's shipping is sometimes too expensive but we know somebody in the area maybe who can help and so it's uh, it's uh, uh, there's always a way yeah there's a way. i remember when we when i was young i i played tennis my whole life and now i play pickleball but uh, i played a lot of ping pong growing up and we always used to take the you know the half of it and fold it up so we could play by ourselves when no one was there yeah. called wall yeah, yeah. yep against the wall yeah yeah there is also another uh, interesting uh, uh, event unfolding that's virtual reality oh yeah i play, I play virtual reality uh, table tennis nice we have we have an ambassador who is probably gonna definitely want to know about that if he doesn't already he's very much into virtual reality and mm -hmm. exercise i bet he'd love it I, I can show you if you want i have the mask and, and how it looks. Do you want to see how it looks? Sure. So this is the o Oculus Quest. I'll take the head off. And glasses. And now that you put it like this. Oh yeah. yeah. And and you have. Do you, do you ever get worried about like? Do you have any balance issues or anything? Well, it, it could be a problem, yes. If, if it's, but, but I learned if, if there is something starting to move, I just take it off. Uh huh. These are the these are the sensors. You see. Oh yeah. And they, there is they discover they developed um, uh, like for the like it looks like a racket. You see. Yeah. So that that's how I play. Oh, that's so fun. So do you have then? You also have a whole community of people online that you play with. We already had world championship in ping pong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, and uh, recently I have a, a Facebook actually did uh, is doing a piece on me. That they will edit in in, in a month and a half, and uh, they they film me how I play, uh, you know, virtual reality. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Very good. Well, what are um, okay? So yeah, tell what. So they they go to your website. You help them out. What yeah. is important for them to know about why would they want to get started? Well, there is no guarantee that it will help, but but as far as I know, and uh, there are three goals of ours that, that we want to achieve. First goal is to help as many people as possible right now. That's the first goal, as, as many as possible right now, because we are not looking for a cure, but we are looking for, to help people right now. 
-hmm. maybe on the way to that, maybe we can find a cure because, you, you know, penicillin came from a lemon, you know, so you never know where it comes from. Right. You cannot look, look for lost keys under, under the street light. It could be somewhere else, not just under the light. It could be in the dark. Right. And this is the dark side, maybe. You know, ping pong is like nobody who, who, who can connect these two things. You know, so f first thing is to help as many people as possible. Second thing is to connect with scientific community. We, we would love to know why is this helping? Because the, uh, when you play table tennis, you uh, activate all five parts of five parts of the brain. Brain, and you know you you have to make quick decisions. It's a reflection, a reflex rather than than thinking. Right. It's it's also tactical playing. You have to watch how they they cut the ball. So it's a lot of thinking, and you have to remember the result. So it's it's cognitive, you know. So it's it's demanding. So that's exactly what we need. We need to be challenged in an essence to create new paths, yeah, new yeah. paths. And, and, and the third is to participate in the Paralympic Games. You know, why are we excluded? Because somebody is lazy, somebody is not doing the work. Mm. And also not just for Parkinson, but all neurological disorder. Right. Right. So we opened the, the door now for ALS and, and uh, Alzheimer and uh, and MS, uh, multiple sclerosis and all of this. So we, we opened the door as well for them. Yeah. So yeah. what are you doing on that front? What are, or is there anything that any other community can do to help out with that? Well, first of all, uh, I would love to, if, if you can first thank, thanks to, to Davis Finney uh, Foundation. I, I follow you on, on, on your YouTube and your, your great uh, group of people with Kevin and and uh, and uh, Mc, Mc, not McCartney. What's what's uh, her name? Funny woman. Uh, Heather Kennedy. Heather Kennedy. Heather yeah, Kennedy. <laughs> she's gonna laugh that I as soon as you said funny, I said her name right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, this is a this is fantastic group of people and yeah. also very informative. Right. They are not just talking like uh, not nothing. They talk about things that are important to us. Right. So, uh, so thank you for your attention. Uh, wh what we need, uh, the first thing, what we need, we need to, to make it uh, USATT championship successful. Mm -hmm. So that we bring to in July people to Texas. So that we will have a, a main stage will be ours. So th these eyes are uh, from media and every, everybody will be there. So we need to advance this, uh, how to say, cause, because let, let's put it this way. If we spend uh, enough money, like for, for three or four tanks per, per year, we would find a cure by now. It's, 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 it's a matter of money. It's not a matter of knowledge. Mm -hmm. S science would find the cure if there is enough funds. But uh, one actor like Michael J. Fox is is leading the it should be it should, it should be the whole the country should do that not not not, not an art not a, an art actor mm -hmm. and he's like in my opinion he's like he, he, heroic what he does he uses his name in in in, in creating awareness and in research and all of this that's like amazing what he did totally amazing so I don't know what where, where where was I? No, that's good. It's just so what can people do? And yeah. part of it is to you know have bring awareness and share yeah. this with other people. Maybe start a chapter, get more people involved, see the benefit of playing you know ping pong for physical, mental, cognitive, mm -hmm. emotional, social connection, all of those things. I will send you the flyer of of. Uh, if yes, you can. I actually I have that. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna share it in the link. I'm gonna. Give everybody some, you know, good reason to to start it. I think everyone's going to be excited about it. And it's, uh, you know, uh, you don't need you you don't need discipline if if it's fun, right? You know, if, can't if, wait to show up. I assume every time, every day, you're ready to go. You can't wait to go. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like nobody needs to remind me. You know. Right. Right. If you're going to dance, I also 
I also go to dance class of uh, dance for PD. Mm. That David yeah. Levinson developed. David, right? No, yeah. no one doesn't want to go see go dance with David. Yeah, yeah, correct. And, and here is in the same town of Ossining. Uh, it's it's fantastic, you know. So uh, I I'm thinking about including uh, PD for dance dance for PD in the next uh, world championship that will happen in Croatia. Oh, yeah. That is pretty great. So when is it happening? When is in Croatia? What is it? Well, it's unofficial, so I shouldn't say it, but okay. uh, be, be, between 12th and 16th of October of this year, uh, okay. hope, hopefully, but yeah. don't, don't buy tickets yet. I'm not going to buy the tickets yet, but I might buy it as soon as you find out about it, because that sounds pretty great. I've always wanted to go, and ping pong is a darn good reason. Mm -hmm.